Young and sweet, only 17. I don't know why I'm so excited to turn 17. I feel like it's just because it sounds so much older than 16. Like, if you're like, yeah, I'm 17, everyone's like, holy heck, she turns into an adult in like a year. Break it down. I'm eating a bagel. If you've never tried a bagel thin, go get one. Put peanut butter and bananas and honey on it. You're welcome. Not spawn. I'm just, I'm a big bagel thin enthusiast. So like bagel thins, sponsor me. <laughs> That's a sound. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber, just in case you didn't know, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video, I'm sure none of you wanted, but it is currently August 6th at 3 a.m. It's so in 28 hours and 52 minutes i will officially be 17 because i was born at 7 56 a.m we gotta be exact around here 16 is that age you turn where you learn a lot about life because you have a car and you can drive or you don't have a car and you have friends who have cars and you can just like do whatever you want you know so basically what i'm trying to say is in the year i've been 16 I've learned a lot, <laughs> and I want to make a little video talking about the stuff I learned while I was 16 in very bad lighting, because it is 3 a.m. and I'm using my phone as a light, okay? Here are some things I learned while I was 16. Okay. The number one thing I learned, driving sucks. Like, driving is absolutely horrible. I hate it so much. <laughs> Watch my horrible driving experiences video. I need to film another one, because I've had a few more incidents where I just, like, driving is horrible and so yeah go check that out because that's all you really need to know people are assholes when they drive you road rage i literally just scream at minivans all day when i'm driving because they're for some reason all of these soccer moms out here are in way too big of a rush to get to the game like why these are so good these are just making me happy again i love bagel thins Sponsor me. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of a given driving sucks But it does and If you're not 16 yet, and you're all excited about driving don't be because it's horrible And never say the words I haven't gotten into a car accident yet <laughs> Just a tip <laughs> All right, the second thing I don't want to get too much into this because again I made an entirely separate video on this guys suck Thank you, air freshener. <laughs> she agrees. Yeah, I made an entire video on this, and all, like, most of the stories, all of them, but, like, one happened while I was 16. So, Taylor Swift was wrong, you know. Well, she wasn't wrong. Like, I get it, you know, 15. Somebody tells you they love you, you gotta believe them. Please don't copyright me, queen. Oh my god. They suck. They lie. And that's that. <laughs> the third thing... I should have planned this video out. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe I didn't learn that much when I was 16. I learned two things. <laughs> the third thing we're going to get a little bit serious, okay? Don't give a heck about anything anyone has to say. You know what I'm saying? That was my vlog. What? We're back. Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, don't give a heck about anything, anything anyone has to say. I have a YouTube channel, and I'm not in like California or New York City or something. I'm not in a place where YouTube channels are widely, you know, appreciated, you know, normalized. I'm in a place where if you vlog somewhere, you get made fun of for like 40 minutes. So, but yeah, I have a YouTube channel and I do get made fun of for it sometimes. And after I started my channel, I'm not like saying this to be rude or anything, but like a lot of people in my school started channels also. I like just putting off the, what's the word? Image, I guess I can say. I like just putting off an image that I don't really care if people make fun of me about it because it's something I like to do. So, <laughs> oh my god, I saw a fuzz and I thought it was a bug. But yeah, I've been doing my channel for eight months now, I think about nine months. And I've just been living life and doing well. 
people make fun of me about it all the time and I'm just like that's cool like I'm having fun so yeah I don't know why I keep doing this I'm like <laughs> I believe I can fly yeah that's the third thing now I have to come up with the fourth thing oh number four I have one Target is really fun <laughs> this is like a meme for me I'm always at Target I have a Target bag like right there like no joke right there I'm always at Target because it's just something to do I live in a town where there's literally nothing to do except like our mall that's just a big bell coat. We have nothing to do. We have the movie theater, which our movie theater is pretty okay, you know, like whatever. We have a mall that's literally just a big belk. And if you don't know what belk is because it's just like a southern thing, it's like a Dillard's mashed with a Kirkland's with like a few Paula Deen items, you know. Then we have Target and Walmart and stuff. And Walmart, you know, we love her, she's cool, she has good prices, but Target, Target, Target has like Champion and YouTuber books, and they have like slime making kits, and cute notebooks, and nice birthday cards from different brands, and not just Hallmark. Is it Hallmark going bankrupt? Did I read that somewhere? I think Hallmark's going bankrupt. Hallmark? Hallmart? I don't know. They have like... The Hunter brand, they have cute employees, and nice employees, and my friends work there, and I just love Target. Target is so good. How long have I been talking about Target? Last time I looked at the timer, it was five minutes. I'm so sorry. Ooh, I think I was on five. Yeah, I was on five. Number five, and this should be the last one. Friends are very important. Like, really important. And I don't say that in a sarcastic tone, or like... I don't know another word to go with sarcastic. I'm not saying that in a sarcastic way. I actually mean you just need like three friends. I don't know what that. Three friends who care about you a lot and who want to be your friend. And they will be your friend and they will love you and care about you through anything. And anyone who's toxic in your life, anyone who makes you upset, anyone who doesn't support you in everything you do, cut them out because you don't need them. I've learned that a lot this year and I literally went from having a friend group of like 20 people to a friend group of like five people and I'm so happy and I love my friends so much and I have all of oh my god I love them <laughs> and of course you guys have met my two best friends in the entire world Casey and Caitlin and I love them a lot and I have like Jacob and Shelby and Grace and Peyton and all so many people I don't like came in name all of these amazing friends I have and I just I love them so much and just have good friends have friends that make you happy don't have any friends that make you sad don't have any friends who ridicule you who hurt your feelings who take you for granted that's a big problem I had growing up I was being taken for granted by so many of my friends and I finally just cut them all out and I got all the friends who I need and love and I'm so appreciative for them Ooh. This one's honey -y. So I guess that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like subscribe down below. I'm sorry for the lighting. <laughs> My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Oevo are all linked down below. If you want more videos like this where I just sit down and chill and talk to you guys and give you guys some advice, because I've been through a lot, <laughs> then make sure you let me know. But, yeah. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe down below. I already said all that, so I guess that's it. Bye!